the Kurt Flood Award introduced by MLB Players Association in 2020. This award given annually to a former player, living or deceased, when the image of Flood demonstrated a selfless, long-time devotion to the Players Association and advancement of players' rights. It was awarded to the Hall of Famer Andre Dawson back in October. I am pleased that God made my skin black, but I wish he had made it thicker. Those powerful words still resonate today from the man that George Will once called Dred Scott in Spikes. Scott was an enslaved African-American man who sued unsuccessfully for his freedom and that of his wife and daughters in 1857. George Will was speaking about a true icon in baseball who still never receives his due, Kurt Flood. Flood was a center fielder who played 15 seasons in the major leagues for the Cincinnati Redlegs, St. Louis Cardinals, and Washington Senators. He was a three-time All-Star, won seven straight gold gloves, and batted over 306 seasons. He led the National League in hits with 211 in 1964 as the Cards won the World Series. Clearly a terrific player, but that's not why he's lionized today. It's because of his courage off the field. I often wondered what would I do if, if I were ever traded because it, it happened many, many times, it, and it was, in quote, part of the game. And then suddenly it happened to me. I was leaving probably one of the greatest organizations in the world to, at that time, was probably the least liked. And by God, I, this is America, and I'm a human being. I'm not a piece of property. I'm not a consignment of goods. After the 1969 season, the Cardinals traded him to the Phillies, and at the time, there was no such thing as free agency. You had to go where you were dealt because of a paragraph in the standard player contract known as the Reserve Clause. Basically, players couldn't receive fair market value for their services, and more importantly, they had no control over where they played. You got traded, and you had to suck it up or retire. Kurt Flood chose the unprecedented option, suing Major League Baseball for his freedom. Now, Flood wasn't trying to be a rabble rouser. He simply didn't want to leave St. Louis. Strongly influenced by Jackie Robinson, who personally recruited Flood into the civil rights movement, Kurt was an integral member of those Cardinals teams in the 60s with names like Bob Gibson and Lou Brock. Flood had also established a photography and portrait painting business in St. Louis, which he stood to lose by moving to Philadelphia. So he took the matters into his own hands and sought action. Ultimately, Flood took his case all the way to the Supreme Court. I feel that, that baseball uh, has not moved along with the times. Baseball is, is not right as far as employer, uh, player personnel is concerned. If they uphold this thing, then there, there is something in my own mind basically wrong with baseball itself. Flood lost the case 5-3 with the U.S. Supreme Court ruling against his position in 1972. But three years later, the tide turned as arbiter Peter Seitz would strike down the reserve clause, ushering in a new era of baseball. Although Flood was unsuccessful in challenging the reserve clause, his principled stand ended up being instrumental in bringing about true change to the sports world. As Flood with eloquent simplicity put it, I lost money, coaching jobs, a shot at the Hall of Fame. But when you weigh all that against the things that are really and truly important, things that are deep inside of you, then I think I've succeeded. Think of Nolan Ryan in 1980 becoming the first millionaire baseball player. Four-year contract for a million per year. Alex Rodriguez earned roughly $450 million over his Major League Baseball career. Mike Trout has the biggest contract in the game, a whopping $426.5 million. All these players and so many more owe a serious debt of gratitude for what Flood did for them and for what he stood for in sacrificing so much. So while we lament the lack of motion right now in baseball's free agency period, let's also pause to appreciate that there is movement at all. As our colleague Bob Costas put it, it is both surprising and disappointing that his life and contributions are so little understood and appreciated today. Kurt Flood paid an enormous sacrifice to pave the way for so many others, and his impact on this great game of baseball will hopefully never be forgotten.